Best I can. Then say what your religion is. You are a sweet, good man, and yet I think religion doesn't much matter to you. Don't, dear child. Your feelings tell you that I love you. I would give my life for those who are dear to me. I would deprive no one of either faith or church. That's wrong. We must believe these things. Do you believe in God? My darling, who can say I believe in God? Then you have no faith. Now listen more carefully, my angel. Who can name him and dare to say I believe he is? Who can feel deeply and then profess to say I do not believe? Encompassing all, sustaining all, does he not hold, sustain you, me, himself? And when I look into your eyes, does not all being press upon your heart and mind, unseen presence stir beside you? Happiness, heart, love, God, I have no name to give it. Feeling is everything. Name is but sound and smoke. That is much the same as what our priest has said. It's what all hearts beneath the light of heaven are saying everywhere. Hearing it put that way, it seems to sound all right. Yet still there is a hitch in it, since you do not hold to Christianity. Dear child. I've long been much distressed to see the company you keep. What do you mean? That man who is with you all the time is someone I detest with all my soul. Oh, my darling, have no fear of him. His presence makes my blood run cold. May God forgive me if I do him wrong. It, it takes all sorts to make a world. His expression is half one of mockery, half of anger. You can see it written in his face that he's incapable of loving anyone. <laughs> it's just a personal antipathy. I must go now. Can I never stay? and rest a single hour upon your heart, pressing my breast to yours and letting our souls join. If I were lived alone, I'd gladly leave the door bolted and drawn tonight. But Mother does not sleep so soundly, and I know if she caught us in the act, I'd die right then and there. You angel! Well, that presents no problem. Here is a vial. Three drops of this in anything she drinks will be enough to put her pleasantly into a deep sleep. What is there I won't do for you? I trust it will not do her any harm. I have suggested otherwise, my love. I've done so much for you already that there is almost nothing else to do. The bird your miss has left. You play the spy again. I listen to the whole proceedings. The girls are really keen to find out if one believes the good old-fashioned simple pious ways. And they think conform is easiest to rule. You monster! You cannot conceive that that dear girl could suffer agony to think she must regard her lover as a lost soul. You super sensual sensualist. A little girl can lead you by the nose. Monstrosity of filth and oh, fire. And what a physiognomist she is. My presence spills the strangest feelings. She reads deep meanings in my ugly face and senses I am some sort of radical, perhaps indeed the very devil. Ah, tonight, then, what is that to you? Oh, it is something I can relish. Damnation, 
you a cursed pied piper, for whom are your enticements meant? The double take your instrument, <laughs> and then the singer to go with it. Broken, my guitar is useless now. And now it's time to break some heads. Hey, you have to learn that. Come on, Now, do what I say. Out with the iron, out with the iron. Yes, you thrust, I'll do the parry. Then parry this. So why not? Thank you. 